And so we have a high level of consistency in the product. And that's the difference between an American-made product and something coming from abroad. If human resources would see this right now, they'd have a hemorrhage. I'm Sheldon, and I'd like to take you on a tour through our manufacturing facility where we manufacture chandeliers, accessories, furniture, and lanterns like the one that I'm holding. Where we're really unique is the, uh, the design details that we can develop. And uh, this, just to give you an idea, I'm really uh, proud of this chair. This is a wonderful chair that we developed for a local hotel. In this area, they're developing a mirror frame. Uh, this, is a, this is an iron mirror. And uh, it's getting just about finished and it's getting ready to go to uh, the paint and uh, hand finish shop. Yeah, I'm just coming out of the uh, manufacturing uh, facility and uh, we're in the design room right now uh, where we have all of our CAD equipment in our engineering department and uh, in my hands are a couple pieces of plasma cut uh, metal that we've designed and then uh, downloaded to a machine that's in the factory uh, that cuts this material. Yeah, right now I'm in the high definition plasma cutting area and this is a computer aided machine that cuts uh, steel or any other type of metal into whatever pattern that we draw. So we download this and you've got a banana leaf right here out of steel. Yeah, uh, right now we're brazing these products to together. In other words, they've been welded and now we're act adding an extra measure of quality to the product by brazing hot molten brass on the metal so that the, the joint or the weld is actually harder than the metal itself. Just to give you an example, I could bang that on the table all day long and those pieces will never break off. Right now we're in our uh, hand finishing department and uh, we're uh, applying a final finish to a product that we make for a mail order company and uh, we have different techniques of applying the paint. They use uh, some sponging and some dry brushing. We've just finished our tour of the factory and uh, now we're in our showroom in Scottsdale and this is where we display uh, all of these beautiful products. I'm Miss Click, and I'm here to answer all your lighting questions. And I know that you have lots of them, because I receive questions from all over the world, daily. Miss Click is my alter ego. She's over the edge. It's the repressed me. It's so exciting. I receive questions from all over the world. Here's an example. Dear Miss Click, Hmm. I am designing an old world kitchen with very large center island, nine feet long by four feet wide. What size pot rack should I use? Denise. Denise, that's a fabulous question because the size of the pot rack is very important. Dear D, at 39 inches wide and 53 inches long, this is the perfect size for your island. Not only that, but with slip-on pot hooks, you can choose where you want to place your embellishments. Here's another question from Carl and Brenda. They want to know if they can get the magnolia chandelier in a different finish at the iron factory. Well, of course you can, Carl and Brenda. <laughs> Dear Carl and Brenda, here's the magnolia chandelier in the current finish. 
but you have your choice of 26 different finishes, personalized just for you. I just love answering these questions. I'm Miss Click. See you on the net.